In this video, I'm gonna teach you more about clinical trials for multiple sclerosis. Don't turn away because that starts right now. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I'm the founder of the Boster Center for Multiple Sclerosis, where we care for families impacted by MS from around the globe. I am particularly excited and proud to bring clinical trial options to families with MS right here in Central Ohio. And in this video, I wanted to continue our discussion in this series on clinical trials. Today, I wanna to focus on the cast of characters, the personnel involved in the trial at your site. This way you can have a better understanding of who's who and what exactly they're doing. Let's jump in. When you choose to participate in a clinical trial, you're still a human being with multiple sclerosis, and I'm still a multiple sclerosis doctor, and we're still, as a team, gonna beat the hey-hey out of your disease. But we're gonna do it in the context of a clinical trial. So we're gonna do that as we answer a really provocative research question. Oftentimes it's a question of, does this newfangled drug, which we think is really cool, work better than the standard of care drug? And we'll enroll people with MS into a clinical trial where we randomly assign to take this one or that one, except we don't tell the patient what they're on and we don't tell the doctor supervising what they're on and we do a clinical trial. And the whole time we're taking care of your disease. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit more about clinical trial participation and specifically the cast of characters, those folks that are involved in the trial, just to make it a little bit more familiar. Now, as I already mentioned, one person involved in the trial is your doctor and that doctor fulfills the role as the treating physician. So they're allowed to hear how you're doing. They examine you, they look at laboratory information, and they make clinical decisions with you the same way that you normally would with your doctor. You're on a study drug, however, and they don't know what the study drug is and you don't know, so that's the difference. And if anything happens medically in the course of the trial, they're gonna supervise that and they're gonna shepherd you through that. Now there's another role in clinical trials which you don't see in a normal clinic visit and that's the role of the blinded evaluator. And so at my center, our amazing nurse practitioner, Valerie, she functions as the blinded evaluator. And at most centers, there's another doctor or nurse practitioner, PA, who serves that purpose. Now, whereas I'm the treating physician and I know everything that's going on with you, except what the allocation of your drug is, the blinded evaluator, Valerie, she's not allowed to know how you're doing. She literally comes into the room and she's not allowed to talk to you. She's allowed to ask you four questions and then she's allowed to do a full-blown neuro exam. She also may do some functional testing like the nine hole peg test or the time 25 foot walk. And then she records all that and she leaves. She literally collected all the information blind to how you're doing. And so she functions as the blinded evaluator. Now, if there's a problem and you call into the clinic, you're obviously not gonna to talk to the blinded evaluator because they have to remain unaware of what's going on. The next person that I wanna introduce is the most important person in the clinical trial. So I probably should have introduced them first. And that's the clinical trial coordinator. Think of them as a cruise ship director. They're quite literally orchestrating the entire trial for you from start to finish. They're coordinating all the things that have to happen during your clinic visit. So you need to see the treating physician, you need to see the blinded evaluator, you need to have blood drawn and they'll oftentimes draw the blood. You need an EKG and they'll probably do the EKG. They need to set you up at the special MRI suite so they've already orchestrated that, etc., etc. The clinical trial coordinator kind of shepherds you through that whole process. Also, they're your first point of contact if there's a problem outside the trial visits. You're gonna call them and they have a direct conduit to the primary investigator, the doc. And so the treating physician, the blinded evaluator, and the clinical trial coordinator are three team members that you'll come in contact with when you're participating in a clinical trial. If you'd like to learn more about clinical trials, click the video that's on your screen right now. I intend to do several more videos on this series, helping you understand the way clinical trials are structured and designed, uh, what's cool about them and why I like them so much. So until that next video, or until I next see you at the Boster Center for MS, be safe and take care.